right. Did you know that uh, uh, some Americans develop Alzheimer's every 68 seconds? Wow. It's an incredible number, but now there's something that you can do about this. And this is all tied to your diet. After the break, we're talking about the foods you can eat to protect your brain. Mm. More than 5 million Americans have been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, and according to the Alzheimer's Association, someone is diagnosed with this every 68 seconds. It's a little more than a minute here, that's crazy. But we can do something about this to protect our brains and our minds, starting with what we eat. We have Dr. Marwan Sabah, he's a local researcher specializing in this, and Bo McMillan, celebrity head chef of the sanctuary on Camelback. And together they've come up with a cookbook. There it is right there on your screen. This is to provide the essential ingredients for brain health. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, morning. Kaylee. This affects a lot more people than I think most people realize. Yes, absolutely. And the, the real worry that we're facing is that we're starting to realize from a scientific standpoint that people start developing changes in their brain 25 years before the first day they become forgetful. So there's a real move wow. toward prevention, and that's where the field is going. And it's fantastic that you guys have teamed up. We're talking about diet and some of these foods that can really help to give us some brain power. Absolutely. And the thing that's exciting about this is that we know that the easiest thing to modify in somebody's diet to prevent their Alzheimer's, or at least to start to prevent their uh -huh. Alzheimer's, is their diet. And that's where the concept came from. And Chef you Bo could was have, a... You could have teamed <laughs> up with a better chef. It this is perfect. wonderful. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was a humongous opportunity for me, obviously, to work with the doctor. And the greatest part of it is always stepping outside your, your zone. Oh, yeah. And, and the development and the learning. It's, you know, I've always tried to cook to please the senses, aesthetically, visually, sure. that type of stuff. But now it's really about nourishment and it's about kind of feeding your soul and your brain for health. Yeah, like, this isn't rabbit food either. Exactly. I mean, this, this, these are good, hearty foods. Let's talk about uh, some of these foods and how they affect our brain chemistry. Awesome. So we're going to, conceptually, we want to work around the idea that we want to get antioxidants both through uh, a lot of spices and then uh, low saturated fat, so we want to reduce the amount of saturated fat in our diet, and then get some antioxidant fruits and vegetables, and then some fish. But Chef Bo did something brilliant. Yeah, what this do we have brain here? Brain boosting broth. Yeah, this is one of the items that we're going to talk about. And when, when you're in a kitchen, you always got to, you hear that term stock, which yep. is like a foundation. Any great soup has to have a great stock. Sure. Couple little things. We, we juice to juice. This is in the morning. You wake up, you have a beautiful spinach, beet, and citrus juice. Okay. Real fresh, real clean, good for you, good way to start. A little snack in the afternoon, herbed pecans. They're light, they have a little spice. Like I said, I find when I'm cooking a lot healthier, spice comes in so much. Sure. There's some great spices to add those flavors. The broth itself, uh, real straight reduction of water with a lot of fresh vegetables, vegetables like parsnips, fennel, carrots, so you get these great kind of aromatics in there, parsley, mm. oregano. Um, once that broth is cooked down, you have your stock, and your stock is ready to use. Now, with your stock, if you do like to kick it up a little bit, I brought a touch of soy, a little bit of fresh ginger, and you can even add a little bit of miso paste if you want. That'll wow. give you a little bit of a little bit more of that salt flavor. That, that Without flavor having that to put for. salt in there. Exactly. Because you want to keep the sodium down. Exactly. Okay. And then this is ready to go. I have a beautiful bowl of ram uh, buckwheat noodles, like a ramen style bowl yeah. or like pho, uh -huh. you, get, you know, with the Vietnamese. Sure. I've got fresh kale, fresh vegetables, bok choy, and really all you've so got to do is ladle this broth right in here. Where do you get buckwheat noodles, by the way? You can get them at AJ's now. Wow. You go into the Asian section there, they have them, and you're ready to rock and roll. But this is that kind of the rage. You still see noodle restaurants popping up in these oh. beautiful, delicious ramen bowls. This one is a very good brain healthy buckwheat noodle ramen and it's featured in our book it so sure you can is. get the recipe for it well we should let you know that there are over a hundred recipes uh, that offer really these kinds of hearty yummy goodness types of recipes we're going to have all this information for you up on our hotline and we want to let you know that november is national alzheimer's disease awareness month so thank you for your time this morning thank you very much. great and to see you again, we've been able to help some people out there thank great you. to see you too awesome fantastic teaming here